Hello and what's up Madlang people? So welcome back to my channel. Um, today's topic is about um, the Zoom G14 on how to turn this unit on and off. Um, on my previous video, uh, when I unbox it, it came with uh, 4 AA batteries. So we'll start with that option because uh, when you buy this one, it comes with uh, 4 AA batteries. So let's open this one. Okay. Battery compartment. I got my four AA batteries ready. So guys, when you put the batteries, make sure it's in the right polarity. So like this one, the top one goes that way. This one goes this way. Anyway, you'll figure it out guys. Uh, right so the unit if you look around and even on the top uh, panel there's no on and off button so for those of you who are wondering you will need your guitar cable plug it in the input once you plug it there so input there go, it turns on automatically Okay, and then to turn it off, you just have to remove the cable. So to save your batteries, always remove your cable from the input because the output one won't do anything. See, it will not turn on the unit. You can leave the output cable going to your amp you can pull out the input cable that's coming from your um, guitar. Okay, right. Our next option is using a nine volt um, power supply. But first, if you've used it with the battery, you need to remove the batteries. We don't want the batteries to be, to get overheated. And put the cover back. We go and I got here this is uh, not a zoom um, proprietary power adapter I bought this on eBay 9 volt um, power supply with a negative polarity on the inside um, there we go that's the polarity it's the same as the zoom requirement if you can see it there there it's negative inside positive outside right this one is daisy chained so that i can use multiple pedals because the plan in the future is to combine this with my zoom g1x on so if you got the correct polarity and correct voltage plus the milliampers that's required there is 500 but because this is DC chain, it's got a higher milliamps so that it will be shared by other uh, pedals. But it will still work because I think this unit is an auto voltage. It adjusts. So let's plug it in. Jack. And then this is your power supply input. Plug it in. There we go. Okay. And to turn it off, just remove this one because there's no power on and off button. Okay, off. Our last uh, option for this pedal, it's also on the manual. It says it can be powered through the USB. Now, this was the tricky bit because with the Zoom G1X on, I've been using my, I think it's a mini USB. Correct me if I'm wrong guys, I get muddled up with all this USB uh, cable. Right. I used that one. 
it didn't work so it's got a different size this one so I look online because I don't have the manual and it says it's micro USB B type so I've used because I don't know exactly what does that mean when you say B type so I've used this one this is from GoPro I think it won't fit I've used this one from the DSLR um, it didn't fit as well I got my um, HTC which I also got before it didn't fit I got Samsung uh, and Huawei it didn't fit even my son's toy uh, was this um, lip frog so lip frog didn't fit I didn't give up I was about to order online and then I just remembered that our Amazon Fire Stick is powered via USB so I took it off and lucky enough it fits so there we go there it is uh, the purpose of this USB here not only to power the unit but when you update the uh, um, firmware as well as if you want to edit this one using your computer fingers crossed guys I hope it won't explode we'll plug this one in and see if it will turn on using the USB yeah it worked and this Amazon Fire Stick uh, USB and power supply is heavy duty because we normally just leave it um, for long periods of time for that Fire Stick when we're watching and it doesn't overheat so I think I can use it for this one but obviously <laughs> at the moment it's for the Amazon Fire Stick okie dokie okay guys I hope this helps um, power on and power off your unit you got three options thank you for watching guys and uh, i hope to see you again soon for another video regarding the zoom g14 and if you've got suggestions questions ideas just leave in the comment section and then we'll chat again next time for those of you again who haven't uh, subscribed yet please do it will support my channel and it will help me uh, post more videos that will help others who are interested in this pedal. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Ciao.